I do with that? That looks so ugly. Add some green to the gun. Evie! What are you doing? So today we're going to be doing a video on what we eat in a day. So Bridie is at her house and she's going to be cooking her meals with Michael and what they eat in a day for breakfast, lunch and dinner and maybe some snacks. And I'm going to be doing the same with my family, with Evie and Matt, and we're going to be showing you what we eat in a day. So let's get to it. Mama. Yes, Evie, you can come in. Hi. Hi, I'm here. Down. You mean up? Up. up. You want to get up? You say hello. 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 Dad is sitting. Dad is sitting. Dad is sitting. Hello. Hello. Okay, everyone comment below. Should Matt grow his hair and wear a man bun? Uh, or should he cut it like short back and side? I never said I'd get a man bun. What did you say? I just grow it on. Well, and leave it out. Hi. I'm like this. <laughs> I, I mean, he has got glorious hair and it would look kind of like thick and wavy Hi. and beautiful. But I don't know if I can keep up with the whole... Oh, thank you. <laughs> keep up with the whole awkward, messy hair stage. You have to go through the not-so-good stage. Maybe if you wore beanies in winter and covered it up. Or should he do a haircut like Michael and split it in the middle? <laughs> I don't know if I could like watch that. No, I don't know. Michael suits it, but I don't know if you would. Yeah. Anywho, comment good. below. You know what I want. Potato. Potato. Do you have a good walk? No. no. What are you talking about? You wanted to go for another walk, didn't you? We can't go now. Let's go have some num nums. Yeah. You were meant to peel a banana for mummy, not eat it. What happened? Yeah, you peeled it and you ate half of it too. Is it good? Mm. So we are going to be making our breakfast. So on a general day, we would probably, Evie would probably have like oatmeal and banana and honey. Maybe I'd have the same or we'd have a smoothie or some fruit. Sometimes maybe toast and avocado or raisin toast. But today we're going to have a smoothie bowl and some papaya because Matt and I are obsessed with papaya with lemon. It's amazing. So first off, we're going to make our smoothie and I'm really hungry. Are you hungry? Look at mummy. What are you doing? You're not having another one, no. You can peel it for mummy for the smoothie. Can you peel it and put it in there, okay? In there. Yeah, in there. Yeah. Peel it. Good girl. That's very good. No, eat the nana. No, eat the nana. No. Peel it. Mm. Very good. We're going to put some banana in. I might need more banana because someone ate the rest of it. Yeah. Some spinach in there because it's nice and green. This is baby spinach. Put some more mixed berries in. Coconut milk. Coconut milk. Coconut milk. Very good. Done the smoothie, so I'm going to chop up some fruit to go on top. And I've got some like muesli cereal stuff and some coconut and some cacao nibs. Yeah, it's going to be super delicious. Can you go get me a spoon? Can you go get mommy a spoon? Okay. Did you get mommy a spoon? Show me. Oh, wow! That's amazing! Evie! No! What are you doing? Evie! What are you doing? She clawed the papaya. Papaya. <laughs> Papaya. Banana. <laughs>
Yeah? Mm. Is it yummy? Oh, you like that, darling. And this tea is brewing really nicely. Did you really like it? Are you going to say so good? So good. So good, is it? What's it called? What's, what's the orange thing called? Papaya. Papaya. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everyone. So today Amelia and I are doing what we eat in a day. So we'll be taking you along in our day and showing you what we eat just like I did just then. I made porridge with banana, some nuts, a little bit of sprinkling of other things and I usually put almond butter. We don't have any almond butter so I put peanut butter and I don't really like peanut butter but that was the next best thing. But Michael likes this one. Yeah, we usually have oats for breakfast or we would have like toast or something simple if we have slept in or something. But yeah, that is our breakfast. It looks very yummy and it's getting cold. <laughs> So this is usually the part in the morning where Michael gets up and he gets ready while I make breakfast. That's what we've been doing ever since we got married because it's kind of good for him to get ready and then have something to eat and then go instead of him having to make it and I'm still sleeping and then that way I actually get to spend time with him eating which is nice because um, I didn't do that in like the first month or so when we were married and I was like, I don't really see you much. So we kind of worked out this system. Well, I decided to make you breakfast. <laughs> and I enjoy it. <laughs> so this is Michael's, one of Michael's favorites. Is it? Yeah, I always enjoy this one. Yeah. I, I like the ones, the oats I make in spring because in spring we have a lot of berries. Winter oats is a bit harder to make. Oh, and one thing I would love to say is we have tea in the morning. Michael hated hot drinks before he married me. So now he actually drinks tea and he actually wants to drink tea. I'm not just forcing him. Sometimes he'll just be like, oh, do you want a tea? And I'll be like, what? Who are you? So that's what's that's what's changed in this marriage. Michael likes tea now. Yeah. But we never drink coffee. Yeah. I don't want to get addicted to coffee. That would be bad. Because it's, <coughs> it's not as good for you as tea, hey? Anyway, Michael's got to go to work soon, so I'm going to stop filming. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Okay, so it's lunchtime now and I've got dressed for the day and stuff and I'm going to be going to my friend's house to help her prep for her house inspection, clean it up, do some yard work and stuff. So we're just going to do a really easy lunch today. Normally we'd probably make like a salad or like tuna and crackers. Um, Evie would normally have like leftovers or sandwiches and fruit or some carrot sticks and cheese or something. But um, Matt made this very yummy and very 
very unvegan meal for me for Mother's Day, but I really like it. It's one of Aunt Patty's meals that she taught us in Canada again. And if you haven't seen the Aunt Patty cinnamon bun video, then I'll link it below because that's really good and you should totally make the recipe. It's amazing. Anyway, so this is something she also taught us and I wanted to have it for Mother's Day. So Matt did and we needed to eat it. So we're just having leftovers for lunch today. It's really yummy. It's a eggs benny like casserole dish thing so it's like same ingredients you'd use for eggs benny but it's made into like a casserole dish and it's really easy because you do you prep it the night before and then you just put it in the oven in the morning and you make the homemade hollandaise sauce and it's very unhealthy but today i've got a lot of things to do because i'm filming two videos and going to my friend's house to help her as well so we're just gonna make it real simple and we'll do another healthy dish for dinner but yeah pretty yummy can't wait to get tucked into this yummy is it good <laughs> so good so, bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> you just want to eat your food. It looks like a chook's breakfast, but it tastes good. Evie, what are we eating? A melon. What is it? Melon. Watermelon. So we just have, for like a morning tea or afternoon snack if we're hungry. We'll have some fruit. Like today, we're going to have watermelon. So good. Or we'll have like crackers and dip, sometimes homemade dip, sometimes pork. I like to make homemade hummus and have like crackers or carrot sticks or celery sticks. So it's usually a, a pretty healthy morning or afternoon tea. Sometimes we might have a little treat like a biscuit or a cookie or something, but not super often. What's your favorite snack? Comment below. Can you say watermelon? Mm. What? Melon. 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 Watermelon. Water? Are you showing everyone? Watermelon. Watermelon. Oh my gosh, that was amazing! Yeah! That was amazing! Oh my baby girl, you're so big! What are we gonna make for dinner, Evie? Um, num nums. Oh, num nums. We're gonna make num nums, are we? Say hi! Hi! <laughs> We're just gardening and helping Georgia get her garden beautiful. Thanks, Amelia. <laughs> And then I'll be going home to make dinner. Yeah, that'll be fun. So it is lunchtime. I'm home alone because Michael is still at work. So for lunch, usually, if there isn't like leftovers from last night's meal or we haven't meal prepped or anything, I would literally be fine with just having something simple. I'm quite the opposite to Michael. Like he, he loves like something really good for lunch. Like it has to be tasty, it has to be something he's experimented with. And I'm just like, um, I can't be bothered. I'm just gonna have something on bread or like something on a cracker or something. Yeah, I don't know. That's just me, hey. So, seeing as there is no leftovers today, I am going to have tuna on crackers. That is my go-to easy lunch or I'll have grapes on crackers. A lot of people like don't understand it. Basically it's crackers, cream cheese, and then you put halved white grapes or green grapes on top of the cream cheese on the crackers. It's the best thing. That's my other easy lunch I do. So I've got tomatoes. Usually I have tomato and onion tuna, just because it gives it a bit more flavor, so that means it's the less I have to put in it. I'm so lazy with lunch. Okay, here's my theory. If I have like the simplest lunch, I can continue on with my day doing what I need to get done. So why waste time making food that you're gonna consume? I mean, I can do that for dinner because I'm making it for two people, but when I'm making it for myself, it's kind of just like, what's the point? <laughs> Um, yeah, and then I've got cream cheese to put on the crackers. I've got my crackers, which I'm running out because I've been having a lot of simple lunches. <laughs> okay, there's these two crackers on the top, and I don't like that one that Michael got, so I keep avoiding them. And he's like, uh, are you avoiding those two crackers that left on the top? I'm like, yeah, because I like the other ones better. <laughs>
the key to make this actually taste like quite good for like a simple meal is the cream cheese has to be a thick layer then you can really taste it with the tuna as well okay i'm gonna eat this that is my easy lunch when i'm home alone <laughs> real life So my amazing husband is cooking dinner. He wasn't meant to be, but he just decided he was going to do it. So we're making dal for dinner, like a lentil curry, and he's an amazing chef, aren't you? You're so good. <laughs> anyway, so he's putting in like the pressure cooker. He's like fried up the onions with the spices and stuff. It's gonna taste amazing. Are we gonna be doing the sweet potato bread? You're gonna be doing the sweet potato bread. Yeah, well, okay, fine. I've chopped up the sweet potato and I've got to boil it now. And while it's boiling, Matt's going to man the stove and I'm going to take Evie for a shower and get in our comfy PJs. And then I'll start cooking the flatbread. We'll mix it all together and make it so yummy. Hey. You've eaten half the sweet potato raw. That's gross. Do you like it? Oh my gosh. You actually like it raw. All right. I guess it's veggies. Okay. Dada? No, Dada won't like it, I promise. He likes it cooked. Matt's made a yummy dal curry and rice, and I'm making some sweet potato flatbread. And I made this a couple of times before, and it's really good. And it's probably a bit of a, more of a healthier option because you're not like deep frying any bread or anything. So I'll show you how to do it. Let's get to it. Yep, yeah, you're putting it all in there. Mommy's gonna cook it. What's it called? Potato. Potato. Sweet potato. Don't eat it. Oh my gosh. Ew. I don't get it. Why do you like it? Hey, you haven't finished your job. I gotta cut more. There's still more. I gotta cut it and put it in there. So we've mashed up the sweet potato and now we're gonna add two cups of all purpose plain flour to two cups of sweet potato. Sorry, if you make more or less, you could add more flour or less flour and a teaspoon of salt and mix it all together. Look at that face! So good. so good. So good. I'm going to taste my masterpiece. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good, eh? This is like restaurant quality. So easy too. Anyway, have a wonderful week. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so for our final meal of the day, Michael and I usually like to experiment. Mm, more so, Michael says, let's make this. And I'm like, cool, let's do it. What are we making, Michael? We're gonna make steamed buns. You've never made them before? Yeah. And we're gonna have some honey soy chicken with rice as well. Oh, we are? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I just found that out. So yeah, that's um one of our favorite things to do is cook together, which is nice, because it's kind of like we're doing something practical that we need to do in the day, but we're spending time together as well, because we don't usually get that much time together. So Michael at the moment is prepping the inside of the steamed buns. Yep. And the then filling. the filling, yeah. Right, and then you're doing... The dough. Yeah, I'm making the dough. But what are you... That's for the, this is for the honey chicken. chicken, honey soy chicken. And then that one's gonna be where we marinate the. Okay, is the honey soy chicken filling going in the dumplings as well? No, the I mean the. Honey soy chicken is just gonna be cooked on the side. All right, well, I'm going to make the dough without a, a, a beater. Okay guys, we're gonna make the honey soy chicken. It's a pretty simple recipe. You just need honey, soy sauce, garlic, and sesame oil. So just put some soy sauce in. Doesn't really matter how much you want to put in. Bit of minced garlic, some honey, and some sesame oil. Boom. Which not many people have, but... It's not really necessary. Usually we just make it with honey and soy sauce and it tastes great. <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> you always make the seasonings. Okay, you just got to mix it and then let it sit for a bit. Maybe wrap it in glad wrap and let it marinate for about like maybe 20 minutes. And then just 
put some vegetable oil in the pan and give it a quick fry and it will be ready in about 10 minutes. Usually what happens in the kitchen is Michael's the boss. <laughs> And he says, oh, can you get me this? Oh, um, can you make this? <laughs> Which I don't mind. It, like someone has to be the boss in the kitchen. But I still I still know how to cook. <laughs> but it's just funny. <laughs> I guess because you picked the recipe. Yeah. That would make I've sense. I've watched the videos. Too. Yeah. It took me about four weeks to actually get plain flour at the shops again. And here it is. 300 grams of plain flour for the dough. Alright, so white sugar. This is like a lot. So baking powder. Wait, it's a rising ingredient. It is a big deal. What? Do you think that 10 grams, 11 grams is gonna be different? Right, than I'll nine still grams? try and measure it. Surely like a half teaspoon or something. I was gonna do a tablespoon. No way, that's. <laughs> but I looked at the yeast packet and that's seven grams. So I was like, oh, that's a tablespoon. Barely make any difference, I reckon. That literally didn't budget. That weighs nothing. He's throwing the cauliflower leaves in the garden. He threw a pineapple out there yesterday and a banana peel. And then we set these fruit and vegetables just laying there. Why are you doing that? That looks so ugly. Add some green to the garden. You don't even see it. Oh yeah, I see that pineapple <laughs> spiky thing. Yeah, just because you look at it. It's in the middle of the yard. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, man. I question you sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to knead the dough I've been kneading. Apparently, you need to knead it for 10 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. That is my little dough. So we just chopped off all the chicken, popped it in some onion, and then that's the leftover sauce, is it? Yep. Okay, and then we're popping it in there. That's the filling for our steamed buns. Mm -hmm. At the moment, in this way, I have my dough in here rising. Ooh, it's looking good. We've got about 20 minutes on that. So, I don't know why I put it in a dark room, but I heard one time that that works. All right, the dough has risen, and I'm going to follow the instructions. <laughs> Apparently you need to like roll it and fold it a few times, so I'm gonna do that. And you have to like roll it into like a sausage and then cut it. <laughs> I know you're trying to be super quiet. <laughs> Currently, nine o'clock. Uh, we're still doing it. And it said we have to let it rise for another 30 minutes, which we weren't prepared for. Looks like we're gonna eat at like 10 o'clock. Mm. Smells good. Yeah, but they're looking pretty good. Oh, did you I do a good I one? I actually might have done a good one. Nah, not really. The lady was trying to teach us how to fold it in really neatly, but like. This is what ours look like. <laughs> this is what ours look like. But this is the filling. This is the filling that Michael made. And then I did the dough. And then we like rolled them out and like pinched the sides to make them a bit flatter to fold them in. That one's all right. So the one yeah. you just did. Yep. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try. Can you see that? And to use your thumb, pinch it in, and then do a fold, pinch it in, do another fold, pinch it in, until, wait. Oh, babe, wait. Oh, that's a good one. I think you need to talk it through. <laughs> hey! Look, this is my one. You can compare it to Bradys. Mm, this is mine. The last Ooh, one. She got the it. The last one. Can you even see that? Focus. Yeah, no. Hang on, let me just show them mine. That's mine! It's so cute! That one's probably That's... my best one. Yeah. That was my first one. This one's mine. <laughs> yeah. But that one's cute. Should have done more cute ones. Hold on. Okay. okay, we're gonna put it in the rice cooker. We had rice cooking and we're gonna steam the buns in there But we have to wait 30 minutes. Are we gonna wait 30 minutes? Maybe 20? Yeah. Yep to what? We need to take the rice out. 20 or 30? 25. 25. 25 minutes of resting with a damp cloth over it. They're ready. <laughs> what time is it? 
time for you to get a lunch. <laughs> Whatever. Michael's in his PJs now. He did not realize that this would take oh. so long. Is that good? Yeah, pretty sure. They just look different. They're not white because we didn't use the specific flour you needed. Yeah, but they look good. Yeah. One steam the bun. How do you know if it's cooked? Yeah. All you got to do is have the dough cooked. Is it cooked? It's cooked. Hmm, I think it is. Well, we'll soon find out. <laughs> Sitting on the floor. <laughs> yep, they seem like steamed buns. Just that more unattractive ones. They're the, they kind of look like the ones from the shops, but not like as wide as they should be. Alright, do we just try it? Yep. Do you just rip it open? You just bite it. Okay. I'll try the mini one. Mm. Wow. Mmm, that's accurate. That's pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. That's a steam bun, and it's cooked, uh -huh. <laughs> and it's half meant to taste. That tastes pretty good. It's hot. It's so fluffy, I'm shocked. Mm, it's, a, it's actually fluffy. Look. Yeah. Okay, that's it. I'll like rip it apart a little. It's Ooh. nice and fluffy. Yeah. The center tastes good. Show pal or steam bums. Show pal. That's, that's that. good. Filipino <laughs> word for it. <laughs> okay. I would make that again. Mm. Imagine this fried rice and um, sweet and sour pork. That's actually what it was meant to taste like. Mm. Like look what I do. I think mm. I'm proud of it because I made it and you're proud of your feeling because you made it. Mm. <laughs> I'm proud of the dough too. Mm. I'm just proud that it worked. Yeah, I'm shocked. And it took if me it 12 work, minutes to cook. It would have been the most disappointing thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, we might end it here. But thanks for watching us eat our food <laughs> hope you kind of got an insight on what we eat in a day this is not normally what we eat but we usually do experiment and this is something we wanted to experiment on and it was successful mm -hmm. so yeah. very successful anyway like and subscribe and see we'll see you next week. time <laughs> yeah